Hey guys, welcome to the RevitKid.com. So today I'm going to start a new series about doors. And I'm just in the home screen of Revit when you first open it. So we're going to create a new family. And now they have a uh, they have a door family set up. And there's actually a lot more in the door family than you would think if you open it. We've got a lot of pre-made stuff in here. They've actually got um, some frames built in it. They've got an opening built in it. And... Uh, few other things but I think I'm going to delete some of these just to show you uh, how they were made just in case just so you know so if I go to 3d let me uh, change the scale here so if you go to 3d you can see you've got a uh, an opening cut you've got a uh, frames frames and then you have a wall uh, the wall is not necessarily the wall in your project it's just a generic 8 inch wall in the family and that's just uh, to show you that it's it's uh, it's a wall hosted family if I click the wall you can see it's a system family basic wall um, it really doesn't make a difference if you make any walls it doesn't matter what kind of wall it is as long as it has a face which they all do uh, let me change this to color so you can see a little better okay, so there you go so I'm actually gonna, gonna delete these frames And then I'm also going to delete the opening. So now we just have a wall. Now, we also have controls and we have reference planes set up, as well as an exterior interior. Um, with doors, it does make a difference depending on what kind of door it is. If it's an exterior door and you have some sort of a sill or something, this is pretty important. If it's just an interior door, it really doesn't make a difference, exterior, interior. Um, but you also have these controls which will um, allow you to flip the door in the project. I'm sure you, you've seen those before. And to place those in, I'll show you real quick, actually. <clears throat> you just go to Home, and there's a little button called Control up here on the top. And you simply click the Control, so let's say a double vertical, and then double horizontal. And that's it. And that'll actually, that'll actually do exactly what you're used to seeing doing. It'll flip everything. So I don't think I'm going to draw new reference planes and parameters for this part, because if you've seen the other family creation series, you, you've seen how to do that. Um, but I'll show you where else they're set up. You see we have an EQ uh, dimension set up here, which keeps this door centered. Uh, if you go to the exterior side, they have a few things set up. They actually have these symbolic lines already set up here. And I would like to show you guys how to do that in case you need to add your own or different types or something. So I'm going to delete those. This dimension doesn't need to be there. So now they have a height parameter driven by a reference plane. Um, a width parameter driven by two reference planes. And those are already set up if I go on to my family categories and types. <clears throat> you see we have that frame projection one right here, which we're not going to use right now, but you also have the height and width. So I'm just going to stretch some of these just to make sure they work. So I can show you. If I do four feet, you can see the, the width changed to four feet and it equally constrained itself, pulls it back. And now let's see the height over here. I change the height to six foot eight. Apply. You see it move up and down. So that's where. So what we want to do is we want to create our opening and we want to lock it to those reference planes. So over here under home we have opening. It says custom opening in a host, and our host is going to be a wall. So it looks like it automatically picked the host. Um, if you need to pick the host, you could do that, but I guess there's really not much you can pick here. So I'm going to simply draw an opening. I'm using the rectangle because it's very simple and if you pull it down this way it automatically pops up those uh, constraints. So you lock all those constraints. Click finish. Now if we go in 3D we've got our opening. So now if I select that opening, what I was telling you about picking a host, um, sometimes you have the option. It looks like it doesn't. Probably because of, uh, it's a family and it's only a wall based um, thing. But if you're inside a project you can actually choose different hosts like a roof or something like that. Let's see it says here, how many class doors. Okay, so now we have that opening. Now we want to test that opening. So we're going to simply go back into here and we're going to change the width. Let's change to something like six feet. Apply. You can see it pulls it. Pull this back down to five, etc. So now it's working really well. So that's how you cut an opening for your door. Six foot eight. Okay, so now we're going to bring this into the project and see how it reacts. So we're going to say File, New Project, 
should have had this open already. We're opening a new project here. I'm going to add myself a wall. So here's our wall. Now I'm just going to load in this door family. So let me. Uh, my door. I'm going to save this as. Save this on my desktop as Revicare Door Series. Okay. And we're going to load this into our project. And you can see it automatically hosts to a door. If I'm outside if I'm outside of a wall, it will not. It'll give me the no and I can't click it. If I go to, to the wall, you see it pulls it up. So if I click here, it's actually putting it on the second floor, that one's putting it on the first floor. So uh, this one's actually, if you select this door now, it's hosted to level two. So if you can just bring it down if you want. So now you can see it's actually cutting the wall. It's doing everything you need. If you move it, if you go on floor plan, you've got your two openings here. And these are our controls. So now you can't really see too much what they're doing yet, but once you start adding stuff, you can see. Uh, so I really want to start very basic now. So that's how you make an opening to a door. Um, on the next uh, segment, we're going to draw the frame, and I'm going to show you two methods of either modeling it within it or actually using a nested family. So stay tuned for more, and I'll talk to you guys later.